Virgo, say my love. Hey, hey, my love. You know I had to give it to you at least one time. Come on. At least we diving right into the message this time. I already did your prayer. It's on the previous video. That was a very encouraging and powerful message. I love you, love you, love you to life. It's Empress Meek. You already know what you clicked on. Let's get into these high vibrations, motivation, acceleration, healing energy. Let's see what this is, okay? This popped out. I just did one card for what I should talk to you about next. Time to start the pot a little bit. We're about to talk about somebody that you have to set free. It says forgiveness or forgiveness, being forgiven in your heart, you know? And we're talking about something that you may have to set free. It says forgiveness sets you free. It keeps you from hanging on to what's never meant to be okay and no matter how much we feel strongly about something and we want it so bad because it feels good for the moment when you think about the overall energy and the message it's not meant to go with you you know these things don't always make you feel totally fulfilled it makes you feel good for the moment but what about the long run you know so let's see what this is okay i ain't gonna get too deep about it. i ain't gonna get too deep you know but I'm just saying it's at the bottom of the deck. Also, you know, this is a whole nother deck. Okay, I was just shuffling it. So let's go ahead and see what you need to let go of, y'all. Let's see. How are you doing? I'm feeling amazing, fully energized and refreshed. I feel good, good, good. Hopefully, I can rub my energy off on you. And I suggest that you guys take some time out for yourself. Remember, on Friday, I was like, take some time out for yourself this weekend. So what did you do to pour into yourself this weekend? Talk to me in the comments. Let me hear what you did. What did you do to pour into yourself? Spirit, show my Virgos clear messages on what they need to let go. Thank you for messages of clarity, truth, love, and light. Blocking and binding all negative energy, witchcraft, and wickedness. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Oh, on the floor, somebody hiding something. Uh-uh, not the spy. What you need to know, spy? What's, what's up? What's happening? What's popping? Somebody got their eye on you. You are doing your research. All right, so either you got a super spy on your tail or you are the super spy. You know how y'all get down. Come on, come on, come on. Where the snap emojis. Don't play with me. I know you are a super spy. You my sisters and brothers. I know. When we want to know something, baby, we're going to find out. Oops, somebody got a probably spying on a fire sign or you got this fire sign spying on you wanting to know what's tea with the Virgo. Virgo haven't reached out to me. Virgo not talking to me. I need to know why. Okay. All right, so some of you are spying on a fire sign as well. Hmm, commitment, things are getting serious. So I feel like this is all you, boo, feeling good and feeling en entrapped by this fire sign energy. All right, they're fiery and you like it a lot, okay? But spirit is saying, la la again, uh-uh, this, this, this not your friend. This somebody that may be betraying you, okay? This may be somebody that you need to let go because they don't serve your higher good, okay? <laughs> You should see the cats all around me. Like, is it time? Is it lunchtime after this one? <laughs> what else is here for my Virgos? What's going on with this spy card spirit? Oh, mm. y'all saw it pop out. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> Be careful, someone is sneaky. And I feel like somebody is spying on you and they're sneaky. Also, you're um, spying on somebody that you know is sneaky and you're like, I know it. I just need to find this. And it could be this fire sign. Somebody is lying about being in a commitment. Got a fire sign here that's possibly already in a commitment. Um, or there's somebody that you're spying on or that is spying on you that is already in a commitment. Somebody's lying about it. Somebody could be getting a new pet. Okay, we got the pet card popped out. This deck is really cute. It's got a pet card in there. Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later, okay? Oh, my God. This says B-I-F-E. I'm not playing with them. All right. <laughs> Look, note to self, make sure that I get one deck of sample cards and make sure I read everything to make sure that they worded it right, okay? But, um, yeah, this says the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. So, let's find out what's going on here. It's some red flags that you're ignoring about this person that's lying, all right, and it's also some type of commitment that you're just not seeing. Um, you need to forgive this situation and forgive this person, all right? Let go, okay? So you won't be hanging on to something that's just not meant to be. I feel like this person comes in and out of your energy whenever they want because you allow them to, and they're lying about a lot. So let's find out what's going on here. 
All right, and congratulations on your new little pet. Somebody got a new pet. Somebody could be neglecting their pet. Your pet need a little more love. Okay, I, my, I love my pet to pieces, so I doubt if that is me. <laughs> but somebody here needs to pay their pet a little more attention. So let's see what's going on here. Let's tap into our other deck and find out what's happening here. Show Virgo clear messages on what they need to know about this spy. What do they need to know about this person that they need to let go? And what red flags might come back to bite them? We're going to ask the tarot about the red flags. Let's see what comes out here for you guys. For my Virgo. Let's see. Oh, okay. On the top of the world, multiple options, dates booming. They're ready for love. Okay. I know that's right. So there's definitely somebody in your energy that will be ready for love. Somebody probably will come towards you. And this may not be in your energy just yet, but this is definitely something that's around you. Okay. You And also this could be some of your energy. You could be feeling on top of the world because you have many options. Things are looking up for you this year. And I feel like you like it a lot. All right, somebody is spying on you and they keep on coming towards you, but it's a catfish. Someone is catfishing you. They're not who they say they are. Mask, money, or romance, a scammer. So I feel like somebody could keep talking to you online. It's a catfish. So be very careful with this online dating and things like that. Somebody is just not, yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> should I stay or should I leave? Time to make a decision. The ball is in your court. Hmm. We're going to find out about these cards in a minute. All right, countless suitors. Hey, but you're the only one I see and want. <laughs> That's probably the liar, okay? I'm not even lying, okay? But let's see. All right, relocating, moving on to another city or state, new scenery or new area. So somebody is definitely going to be moving soon. And I know you cannot wait. Some of y'all said, I cannot wait. I hope these people call me today. And it's on Sunday. I hope they call me now. Well, it might not be Sunday when you get this message, though. Um... Over, look, this was turned over like this. So I wanted to know what it was because the deck is the other way. So a mystery lover, sexy, secret, admirer, crushing, always wanted you shy and ready to come forward. We saw this before. This person is gaining the energy to approach you. Wow. And, and I don't know, maybe this is the person who has countless suitors and they want to get to know you better. All they can think about is you. Hmm. Well, wow, springtime, getting out, enjoying life, concerts, parties, gatherings. So, baby, the springtime is going to be your time. A lot of you can't wait till the weather breaks. You're like, man, I'm getting out of here. Some of y'all are staying in the house more because we don't really like the cold like that. Um, and a lot of you are just chilling. You know, you're waiting, building your, look, you're building yourself up, working on yourself. Some of y'all working on your weight, pushing back from the table. Some of y'all working on picking that fork up. Don't even try, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all getting the extra sides and everything because you're staying in the house and you better stop it. Cause come the summertime, come springtime when it's time for you to get out, you're gonna be having them extra sides. So come on now. What it's about all about what you want. Look at this. A new home moving in together, making it official. So somebody could be doing that in the springtime with somebody. We got this secret work lover again. Who is messing with a secret work lover? And I know if you tell it wouldn't be a secret, but you can tell us. We don't work with you. We online. All right, so what, what's going on with this secret lover? I want it out of my reading. Like, who is this? Get a personal reading already. All right, anyway, let's move. <laughs> Y'all know one thing I'm going to do is be me. Let's move on, okay? Yes, I'm one of the most down-earth angels you ever want to meet. Let's get into it. On top of the world, what's happening here? Somebody feeling good, okay? Ooh, dragonfly be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt the change and heal so somebody's telling you that they're ready for love and you feel like you're on top of the world with this person but you're about to find out some things that you may not like somebody is being charmed and being used and it's time for you to enable these boundaries baby because somebody is just being a liar somebody's just being very sneaky you're getting catfished i feel like some of y'all are dealing with somebody online this online person honey look some of y'all say i stay off line this is not for me yes it might be don't click off just yet some people are online you know it's the world it's the time of the world wide web it's a lot of people online dating and thinking they're gonna find their love online some people actually do i'm not gonna lie one time i tried online dating 
And it's because they, it was two people at my job saying, I found love, I found my boo. Now, I don't know if they're still together until this day. But I know when I got on there, I met a crazy Pisces that scared the hell out of me. And I just never logged back on. I deleted my profile and everything. I will never do that again, okay? No, me and, <laughs> I thought that we were about to be serious. And this person showed me a side of them that I was like, oh my God, I cannot. I cannot do it. Anyway, and they were they were drinking a lot. They were crazy. That's how I know Pisces can get drunk and mean. Oh my God. Anyway, not all of y'all. Y'all are really loving. I'm telling you, he was sweeping me off my feet, honey. I was just like, oh my God, where'd you come from? All spiritual. We could talk about anything, but it got crazy. It got a dark side that I was just, oh Lord. Anyway, <laughs> the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, and revelation. Celerity affords force, honor, and protection and power. So I feel like on this catfish card, that's what came out, the sword and the rose. So I feel like, yeah, this person has a gift for gab. This person's saying all the right things, but baby, don't fall for it, okay? You need to use your intuition to see through this situation. Should I stay or should I leave? You already know the answer to that. The soulmate card flipped over in the reverse. Y'all seen it? Hmm. Soul, con soul connection agreement and soul contract in the reverse. It's a karmic. All right. You should leave. Okay. This is not suitable for you. All right. Somebody is definitely a deception here. Too much deception here. All right. And somebody is just feeding off your energy. Countless suitors, but you're the only one I see and want. Who is this? Oh, keys on the ring, baby. They won line. They got suitors, honey. They have options. Okay. String along one night stand. Hmm. You're the only one I see in one. So, what I'll tell you? I said that probably is the liar. All right, relocating. What's happening with this? All right, we got the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. Somebody is about to be moving. All right, somebody is moving on to a new phase in their life. Somebody wants to rekindle and renew something with you. Relocating. Maybe somebody is moving closer to you. Somebody is moving away from you also. But I feel like you're moving to a new a new state, a new scene. Somebody's moving from a slow-paced area to a fast-paced area. Ooh. You said, oh, it's time for a change. Yeah, you have to change mind about where you are and you're moving. Oh, my God. Look at this mask card. Not showing true feelings, hiding personality, pretending, deluding, and gaslighting. Y'all better be careful. Somebody is tricking you. Somebody here is, they really got game and you are falling for it here. Somebody is falling for it. Meaning conversing, saving the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. This mystery lover wants to take you out on a date. They're going to be coming forward very, very soon, letting you know that they're interested. Get ready for this new love that is going to float your boat, honey. This new love is going to excite you. It's an exciting mystery lover, and they want to come out and introduce themselves. Wow. Look, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, wanting a date. Somebody's looking at your pictures, memories, nostalgia. Something here. It could be somebody from the past. Some type of past love that's known you for a while, and they always wanted to tell you. Look, a love call. Oh, my gosh. Somebody got heartbroken about somebody, found out somebody was married. Lord have mercy. Here we go again. I wish these married people take several seats. What are you doing? Somebody had a point in my comments. They said, I wish these married people would sit down. Complete the cycle you're already in before you come toward us. Amen. Okay, amen. I wish I could like that 20,000 times because she was on to something, okay? Oh, stop trying to complicate your situation, babies. If you're not out of your relationship that you're in, what make you think you're going to be able to start a healthy one with somebody else? That ain't the kind of God we serve. What are you, what are y'all watching? Get off of Netflix. I don't know what you're watching. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the reading. Pull the tarot and see what's happening here. Okay. Somebody is cracking up. I'm so serious. Like, this is too much. I'm going to use my other cards. I like these a best side. Let's see. <laughs> Do y'all cats ask for food when they're not even finished eating the food they have? Like, I'm not about to eat the rest of your food, please. My cat was just 
ask it for more food. No. It's nothing wrong with it either. They just spoiled. So spoiled. I give them a lot of love. Alright, so guys, let's go ahead and get into this message. Spirit, thank you so much. Ancestor Spirit Guides, Holy Angels for my Virgos. Hey y'all, hey. What's going on? What does Virgo need to know about these situations? It's a lot here. Tell us more. Okay. We got the Page of Pentacles here. Somebody could be dealing with a Sag. Somebody um, is thinking about you passionately. And I feel like it's this mystery lover. Honestly, I do. I feel like it's this mystery lover. Show us one more about this mystery lover. Who is this for my Virgos? Somebody trying to balance their emotions. They're balancing their money. They're balancing their life. I feel like this person wants to know. I want you to know that they're here. Wow. Not the magician in the reverse. Dang. It could be a manipulator or somebody that feels like, well, maybe not a manipulator. Honestly, the magician in the reverse. Now, in the upright, it talks about you um, using your gifts, using your energy, using the things that you have to your advantage, making something happen, bringing things into fruition um, because you have all the tools you need to make it happen, making something work in your favor. But in the reverse, I feel like it could be somebody manipulating the energies, but I also feel like it could be somebody that feels like they can't manifest this with you. Yeah, see, they feel defeated and they're waiting. They feel like now is just not the time. They can't manifest this with you for some reason. Show me the relocation card for Virgo. Okay, so somebody is moving. I feel like there could be um, a relationship, this emperor. It's an emperor, a queen of cups, and somebody could be walking away finally. Somebody's waiting for their ships to come in. I feel like you're the ship. Honestly, I feel like somebody is relocating. It says moving on. It says moving to another city or state, new scenery, new area. So somebody could be thinking about moving here, moving away from this water sign energy. Somebody here is definitely thinking about moving. Queen of Cups is here. So it could be an emperor moving toward a Queen of Cups. Maybe you guys are dating somebody that is overseas or across water. But I'm telling you, y'all need to be careful because somebody may be thinking about moving closer. It's like, we're about to move together. I'm about to move where they are. But this person could be a catfish. I'm telling you, I just feel like you need to be careful. Nine of Swords. Somebody is stressed out, maybe depressed and thinking about you. Or Virgos, for my males, this could be you thinking about somebody. I feel like this mother figure is depressed. You're going to be moving soon, and I feel like they know it. Somebody here knows you're going to be moving soon. You need to change the scenery. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Countless suitors. Why is that here for Virgo? Somebody is a star. Ow. So somebody is dating somebody that could be a star. They could be famous. Somebody here has countless suitors. For my um, for my queen of coins, for my Virgo, some of you could have Leo, in your, I mean Libra in your chart. Some of my Virgos have air in their chart, and they are forced to be reckoned with with these words, okay? Um, I feel like somebody knows that they're dealing with the star. The star could be an air sign, or this is you knowing your worth and standing your ground, um, Virgo, star or no star. You're like, okay, I know you popping, but um, so am I, and these are my standards, okay? Somebody is setting standards, setting boundaries here with this queen of swords energy. Should I stay or should I leave? Hmm... Let's see. Ooh, somebody is asking, seeking information about the relationship that they're in. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign. Should you stay or should you leave? Spirit said you should stand your ground, okay? Stand your ground firmly on what you believe. Should they stay or should they leave, Spirit? Yes or no? What should they do in this situation? Hold back, all right? Hold back. So this means leave. Hold back from indulging. Your angels, the temperance is telling you that this situation doesn't have enough balance, all right? Does this situation have enough love and passion to make it work? For some of you, the answer is no. Is, is this person dedicated to you? Do they do everything they're supposed to do to make you feel like this relationship would be healthy? Look at this. King of Swords. Somebody is cold and calculated and you know it. You should leave. This is a leave card. This, the, these energies, if you're wondering if you should stay or leave, is leave, okay? 
I ain't gonna lie to you. That's what I see here. It's leave. You should hold back. Your, your angels are here saying, no, hold back. Somebody here is cold and calculated, and I feel like you don't really see that, but they are, okay? Maybe this is the energy that you have to be in, okay? King of Pentacles, hey, y'all. Hey. I'm right under the bottom of the deck watching and looking. Listening to this reading, trying to see what is going on here. Mm -hmm. Also, this could be you in a situation wondering if you could stay and leave or leave. If you should stay or leave. Feel like somebody you're dealing with has a lot of options. Somebody is being catfished. <laughs> I, <laughs> for you guys, somebody is not letting it to look. The world in reverse. So you're refusing to learn this karmic lesson. For some of you, you're refusing to end a situation that you look. You're not closing out a cycle and then you're going to try to go and be, start over new. Somebody is just being a fool here because you won't close this cycle out. Somebody is just, should I stay or should I leave? You should leave, okay? You should rebuild. Don't be foolish. The fool is actually somebody really being foolish. It's somebody with their head in the clouds not really calculating everything properly. It's just like you're... Like a kid, like, it's like, okay, let's go. Look, you're taking the dog and everything, just jumping off a cliff. I feel like you have to take your time here. I feel like this is not going to be a good energy for you with this catfish card. You want to go into this new situation, but it's not going to be stable. Show me catfish. These cards keep coming in the reverse, so they're meant to be in the reverse. You stop the communication lovers in reverse this is a situation where somebody is going to be maybe manipulating you also lovers in reverse it could be somebody that is very karmic all right i feel like this is not going to be a situation that you want so stop talking to this person online whoever this is talking to somebody online they're lying to you on top of the world okay multiple options dates blooming they're ready for love let's see no justice is here five of cups is here so somebody found out that the person that they thought was ready for love is not ready for love somebody realizes that they were being catfished the whole time y'all realize this on your own too some of you um somebody realized that somebody was in a lover situation with somebody else somebody's saying that they were being foolish thinking that they can invest in somebody look ace of Pen ace of cups in the reverse Somebody's very sad here, crying or feeling emotionally overwhelmed. There's not enough love here to make this work. Spirit is saying, stay in your ground and end this with this person from the past or this first person that makes you feel um, nostalgic. It's whoever this is, it's time to end this situation. You should go. All right, Eight of Pentacles is just not going to work. It's somebody that will do anything for money. Okay? This is somebody that's also losing money as fast as they're getting it. This situation doesn't serve you toxic okay all right lovies that's what we have here that devil flipped out like Ugh, i'm in control of this boy help him Ugh. all right let's see what else let's see um get you a self-love affirmation card so be what you seek let your desires inspire you to transform match the vibration you want and you definitely will get it i tell you this all the time be what you seek okay balance your heart chakra and move forward love yourself first all right, lovies, thank you for being here. I love you and I mean it. If you want a personal reading, email me closer than number two, my destiny, the number one at gmail.com. Bye.